Hello guys, welcome to another video in this EZ series. Guys, I have already explained microprocessor paper. So if you have not gone through it, watch this video till end and attend screens you can you can have it. Now let's get into the video. In this video, I will explain the computer organization paper of AP EZ 2020 with some very important concepts as well. CIVO is the most CIVO mostly contains of easy procedures and if you learn them perfectly you, it, it will be a very scoring subject. Now let's get into our first question. The PI bus interface unit contains first in first out register of size 6 bytes is called as. Now let's go through the options. Q stack segment register. Here it is given first in first out. First in first out always refers to the Q. So the answer is Q. Stack refers to first in last out. F I L O. Remember this. And next move to our next question. The fetching of the program from secondary memory to place it in it in the physical memory during the execution of CPU is called here physical memory refers to the hard disk hard disk now let's see what first swap in swap out means if we think this as a hard disk and this as RAM and hard disk to, hard disk to RAM is known as swap in and from RAM to hard disk it is known as swap out so remember this hard disk to RAM swap in RAM to hard disk swap out so in in this it is given as from secondary memory it means hard from hard disk from hard disk sorry this is secondary memory is hard disk and this is ram physical memory is ram secondary memory to physical memory means hard disk to ram hard disk to ram means swap in so the option is swap in. Now let's move to our next question. The in sorry. Here is the next. The del delay between the time or an interrupt request is received and the start of exception execution of the interrupt service routine is called. Here we are having some delay between interrupt request and its service. This difference is known as interrupt latency. Here this is the option is interrupt latency. Latency means delay. Delay in anything is known as latency. And interrupt is one of the most important concept in ESET. If it will get back in every subject you, you have. So be perfect with interrupts. Now let's move to our next question. The DMA controller may be given exclusive access to the main memory to transfer a block of data without interruption is known as the we will see the options block or bus mode stealing mode bus master bus slave the answer is block bus mode here yeah. block bus mode means a device using trans Transferring of data repeatedly means this is, in this mode the data is transferred repeatedly without going through the steps required without going through the steps which are very required and it, it is very it is repeating always. Now let's move to our next question. What is the highest speed memory between the main memory and the CPU is called? We will see the option register memory. It's not 
because CPU is itself a re com combination of registers, cache memory. Yes, we will have cache memory in between RAM and CPU. If it is RAM, and here it is CPU. In between, we will have cache memory. In depth, here in between, in depth, we can see here we will have L2 cache, level 2 cache, and on CPU, we will have level 1 cache. Now, let's move to our next question. Which one of the following can produce the final product of mission processing in the form usable by humans? First, we will see the options storage, control, input device, or device. The question is asked like which are used by final product after uh, after the computer has processed something and the final product is used by humans we will be getting the output means we are interacting with the output so the we use uh, we use output devices for interacting with the output like monitors ex printers etc so the the answer is output device now let's move to next question. In case, in the case of zero address instruction method, the operate operands are stored in. Now options are registers, stack, accumulators, catching. First, we uh, we will go. Uh, the answer is the answer is stack. Let's we go through all the address instructions and their storage in in brief here we have three uh, four address instructions Addre it is also known as instruction formats here zero address instruction we don't have any addresses specified here here one address instruction we will have only one address here two address instruction here we have two things in three address instructions we will have three and here what it uses is this zero address instructions use stack uses stack to do the function and one address instructions uses ac here means accumulator one address instru instruction uses accumulator two address instructions uses r1 r2 which means registers and three address instruction also means uses r1 r2 r3 which means registers and if you see the functions here r1 R1 is added by R1 plus R2 is added back to R1. Here R1 R2 plus R3 is added into R1. And here accumulator with some memory address is added into the accumulator again. Here it is its user stack by use, uh, by decrementation and adds back. Now we will see, uh, get, uh, go through the address instruction formats. You, it, um, there, may, there will be a compulsory question from it. Now let's move to our next question. The, the memory which is used to st store the copy of data or instructions stored in larger memories inside the CPU is called. Now let's see the options. Level 1 cache, level 2 cache, level 3 and registers TBL T, T, sorry TLB. TLB stands for translation look asset buffer it's a buffer and here we can see the as i said before we have ram and cpu here l1 catching here l2 catching in between mm. And if you uh, L1 cache will have almost 100% hit ratio. It consists of all almost all instructions that are needed to the CPU. But in, in some cases it may it may not have. Then CPU refers to L2 cache. First it refers to L1 cache. Next it refers to L2 cache. In L2 cache it uh, if it almost it present in the L. Uh, when it is not present in L1 cache, it will surely present in L2 cache. But in some more cases, it may not also present. 
and in that cases cpu refers to ram and it and for sure it will present here so the answer instruction stored in larger memories inside the cpu is called as level 1 cache now let's move to our next question which technique is preferable for transferring a large amount of data to and from the memory in short time dma direct direct memory access is used for transferring the data within a short time any amount of data is also is used is, is used for transferring dma interrupts the cpu and transfers the data only dma is used for transferring data and within a short time a very similar question is also asked in ts paper also and finally guys go through the microprocessor paper at end, end, of end screen if you have any doubts regarding any subject of cac comment it under the video and then that will surely explain in the upcoming videos if you found the video helpful like subscribe and share with your friends thanks namaste